remembers a time back in 2011 when the world was a simpler, easier, more fun place to be. In a small bakery in northern New Jersey, two friends got together every week determined to teach the world how to bake. Kermos and the producer! And YouTube was never the same. <laughs> It sunk like the Titanic yeah. here. <laughs> Yay! Grandma's from producer! Grandma's, everybody! Whether it was making the number one recipe on YouTube for buttercream, or icing fudge brownies, or teaching the world how to make eclairs, I was literally always working. Wait, that doesn't sound right. So here we are in 2020, and well, YouTube, it's time to get ready. Hold on to your crumb buns, because guess what's coming back? Yay! Better, bigger, and so much more exciting. <laughs> confetti, 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 confetti. Crumb boss. Everybody, Grumbo's here! You're still wearing your shirt that's signed. I never stop wearing my shirt that's signed. Exactly. Grumbo's, get your shirts. Get your shirts. Everybody's getting shirts. Grumbo's revolution, get on the bus. You sold out in a week. Get on the bus, because I'm driving. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, somebody's had a long day shooting oh, episodes. Hey. Yeah. So we're, today we're making something called Neapolitan. Today we're making a checkerboard cake, and why? We already made a checkerboard it cake. It was so popular. Everyone loved it. They were absolutely like amazed on how it was done. Yes. So we decided we're going to do it again and show you how to do it again. Yes. Only today we're going to do it Neapolitan style. What does Neapolitan mean? Neapolitan is not to be confused with a Napoleon, which is also a pastry. No, he was that guy that was mean. He was that guy that was mean. And yeah. he was short. And they named, a, they named a pastry after him, and I'm not quite sure why. Maybe it was his favorite pastry, yeah. um, and it's called a Napoleon, but that's not what we're making. We are making Neapolitan, which is, if you've ever had, like, um, Breyer's ice cream, they do Neapolitan ice cream. It's chocolate, strawberry, and vanilla, vanilla all together. Okay. So we're going to do that, checkerboard style. Checkerboard. Board style yeah. Neapolitan. Neapolitan, nice. So, um, we're gonna start out. Last time I did the checkerboard, and I I had two cakes, and I had all these layers all over, and people were a bit confused. Um, so I'm I'm just gonna do one cake today. You need to have three layers. Two of them have to be either chocolate and one vanilla, or if you prefer more, you know, it would be two vanilla and one chocolate. Okay. Um, I always do more chocolate whenever I do anything because that's what I like. Mm -hmm. So I have seven inch cake layers here. Okay. And then I have a four inch, uh, a four, four or five inch um, diameter cookie cutter. And then I have another, like it's one and a half, two inch diameter cookie cutter. Mm -hmm. Now, remember what we did last time? Yes. You, you have to cut out. You cut out the holes. Mm -hmm. Okay. But we're going to go slow. Yep. See that? So I've got three holes cut out. Okay. And then I'm going to cut out the centers of this one, too. So everything's got a hole in it. Everything's got a hole in it. And then we take it. It's like that guy in New York, right? Oh, my God. When they, when they stand on the street, they go, yeah, they take the cards and they got the $20 right. Oh, bill. now, see, this is why last time you... D this is why we have to make two cakes at once. I can't just make one. Because, look, now I don't have any vanilla to go into the center of this one. And that's why anytime we make a checkerboard cake to put in the store, we can't just make one, we have to make two. Let me just grab another layer. Okay, so she's going to go grab another layer because, we're, again, we're making the checkerboard Neapolitan. We just ran out of the vanilla cake. Grumbo, I thought yeah, she could make right. it, I, but I, she I couldn't. Thought, I yeah. thought that I can't do that. Yeah, so because all our viewers were getting us confused. Yeah, they were like, wait a minute, you've got all these layers there, and then all of a sudden you've only got this. And I was like, all right. So oh, I my God, there's another cake right over here. Dum, yeah. dum, dum. Oh, look. See, I'm doing it wrong again. There she goes. Oh, boy. Oh, my God. That's crazy. It's perfect, though, okay, Gretchen. Okay, so there you have it. And so here's the deal is that mm -hmm. you could go ahead and make a four-layer cake if you want, and then you'll be done with it. Looks like tires. Yeah. Uh-huh. But we do three-layer cakes here. So okay. So then you're going to, you know, you got your majority of chocolate, and then you're going to put this one here, and then, you put and that then one. this one here. And so this one, uh, you know, is sort of like an extra, or you could just do a four-layer cake. We do three-layer cakes here. Okay. So now you got, now how are you going to make it Neapolitan checkerboard? Yeah, well, here's your chocolate and vanilla. Yes. And now this is strawberry buttercream. 
How did you make that? Oh, I was hoping you would ask me that. Yes. Um, basically, to make strawberry buttercream, I've taken my uh, buttercream recipe that I shared with you, and then what you're going to want to do is take fresh strawberries and cook them down in a sauce pot very low and very slow until they start to break down and they're going to cook out and it's going to get like saucy, like a sauce consistency and it's just going to get real mushy and you're going to want to keep on cooking that until a lot of the liquid has been reduced out of it. Yes. And then um, you just mix it right into your buttercream. You see how I still have chunks of buttercream, uh, yes. chunks of strawberries in there? Yes. So it's just really wonderful flavor. Oh, that's um, cool. So yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and. So you're putting it on the, the you're putting it on the cake now. Yeah, the strawberry, the, the strawberry, the uh, buttercream, and then you're gonna layer. And this is again the checkerboard Neapolitan, ladies and gentlemen. Not just your ordinary checkerboard. We're talking Neapolitan. Neapolitan. Is that how you say yeah, it? Neapolitan. Neapolitan. Oh, Neapolitan. Yes. I have to figure out how to spell it when I put the video yeah. up. It's like, uh, I want to, you know, I, I haven't been really researching up on my history of yeah. names and recipes and why everything's called. It's smell the strawberry butter. I wonder what it? it's. Yeah, I want to taste it. Yeah, taste it. Let's see. Mm. Wow, it's really warm in here. Oh, my God. Ooh, Gretchen, that's really good. Yeah. I love strawberries. This looks cool. Yeah, so this is just a variation. I mean, you don't have to do it with the strawberry. Um, yeah, this tastes good. But to make it Neapolitan style, you do. Yeah. Oh, it's so warm in here. Yeah, look at the whipped cream. See how it's just a buttercream. It looks like whipped cream. That's how soft it is. It tastes amazing. Mm. It's so funny. It's like taste television. Yeah. That's what it is, a crumb boss factory. smell a vision smell a vision and taste a vision If you could taste everything that we're making right now, you wouldn't be hungry. You would actually be at Woodland Bakery sitting in our audience. One day we'll have an audience, everybody. I don't know when, but one day we will. Yeah, keep tuning in and it'll be keep sooner tune than later. <coughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> sooner than later. All right, All right, so I'm taking my pastry bag filled with strawberry buttercream. And we just do a design like this. You can That's do really pretty. anything you want. Okay. Oops, rosettes here. Uh -huh, it's just sort rosettes. of like a border to hold in my yes. sprinkles, which is what I'm going to put on top now. And these are the this, uh, the confetti chips. Confetti spring. chips with nonpareils mixed into them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then I like to do a little garnishing around the edge of the cake, too. I think that's really cool. I wonder if that's helping people the, with the garnishing like that. Oh, I think so. If you put it on a big sheet pan and then yeah. it all just drops back down, you do have to buy it in bulk and by quantity. You can't just buy like a little container full of it. But. No. But it's easy to make. Yeah. So, so there, there we have it. it. The strawberry, uh, the, I'm sorry, Neapolitan checkerboard cake made by the Crumboas. So if, go ahead, let's show everybody. Well, yeah, so this is one made with vanilla buttercream, so it's not a Neapolitan style, but you'll get the idea. When you cut into it, it is going to look like this. So wherever you see white, mm -hmm. it's actually going to be pink, and it's going to be the strawberry buttercream. Okay, and then let's hold up your strawberry butter. It's beautiful. Yeah, it's your really nice, right? Yeah. Stra Everything's pink today. Everything's pink today. Everything's pink. Pinkalicious, pink checkerboard cakes. Yep, Harry Potter. Everything's with a pig. <laughs> Three peas. Oh, boss. So just tip it down just a little bit. And there we have it, the Neapolitan checkerboard cake made by the Crumbles. Crumbles Factory. Wait, one more thing. Don't forget to check us out on our other channels at Funhouse TV and Gretchen's Vegan Bakery.